What's the proof that this works? I train people in the ultra run so that they don't feel pain anymore. They could run like machines 18 hours and they nearly they don't have to sleep during seven days. They created four new world records. And the funny thing was these people were no professionals. These people were, uh, they only trained one started two years ago. I went in the hyperspace. It was crazy. And I asked, uh, because we need some million dollars. And then I asked, okay, who can help us with the money to, to get the sponsors and everything? I got the private email address of Ronald, uh, of Matishitz. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nobody had, had this email address. He asked, where do you have my email address from? He could not believe it. Immediately he made appointments on his Fuschel at the, at the lake in Austria. Please help me welcome Armin Kittel. Armin runs a very successful, uh, webinar consulting business. He has helped multiple business owners, experts increase their businesses through webinars, but he actually has a very, very interesting metaphysical side to him in the sense that um, he was the only one who passed on to become an initiate. He is one of the rare people in the world who can manage different states of consciousness, beta, alpha, theta, and delta on command. And the quote that I really, really love by him is by expanding the mind into the deepest unconscious, the soul is healed and the person learns who he really is, what his meaning in life is and why he is here. And of course, she uh, as well. Armin, welcome. Hello, welcome. Welcome to your audience. Yes, Bogdan. Beautiful. So Armin, congrats for, you know, deciding to dive, you know, to share the side of you with the world. I want to learn more before we go into how can our, you know, our people, our audience, um, elevate the freedom in their business, elevate their wealth, enjoy more of life, enjoy more of who they truly are. I want to learn more about you, like what got you into business? What got you into metaphysics? You know, tell us a bit about you. Um, yes, um, I'm based in uh, Germany, in Munich. I'm already 59. Yes, uh, so not the youngest anymore. And I found out that I have s some special skills. What you mentioned, this was when I was already three years old. Yes, because when I was three years old, I should die on one day two times, but I was reanimated. Yeah, from this time on, I had crazy dreams. Yes, uh, I had really crazy dreams. And uh, and when I was 24, I studied at this time business administration and psychology. I dreamt in advance, like in the movie Slam Dog Millionaire, uh, what will happen. And this uh, dream was so real. I saw what I was wearing, everything. Then I went with my parents to the uh, studio in Munich, to RTL. The show was called The Price is Right. I went to the show and I won the super prize. Yes, I won the cheap cabriolet, everything what I saw in my dream. But the crazy thing was in my life that I not only get it one time, I got it two times. Yes. That's so. Crazy because at first I thought it was luck, yes? But uh, for example, at this time, when I was 24 years old with the TV show, we went to, to, the, uh, to the TV show. And at first my mother was thrown as candidate in the morning, yes? And so I thought, okay, my dream does not come true. But, uh, uh, but then we went uh, in the canteen to eat something and here they told me, ah, okay, your ticket is valid for two shows. You can go in the afternoon again. Yes. And, uh, and what do you think if there's the same audience and in the morning, my mother is also called Kittel. Uh, and in the afternoon, they will be drawn another Kittel. Then it's betrayal. Yes. But it happened. Yes. And then I won it. And then uh, during my studies, I also made some experiments uh, because I always was like a Nostradamus. Yes, 
that I that I felt in advance uh, what will come true. And um, and uh, because I'm a, a rational statistic thinker also, and I'm quite sensitive, <clears throat> uh, I combined it, yes, uh, this knowledge. And um, also in my, uh, I'm, uh, I studied in the elite university in Munich, in the LMU, and I was quite famous there because I won the TV show. Yes, and then I made an experiment and uh, all the students who were in my group, they have to predict what will come in the exam, what kind of questions. Yes, and, uh, and we wrote in advance the test, what will happen right. later. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and um, uh, so I, I found out that, that there is more that, one, that the mind can explain. Yes, it's, and at this time, yeah, it's probably why, why they call you the German genius. Yes, and it, it was funny at this time there were also these movies like Flatliners with Julia Roberts. Perhaps you know Flatliners. Yes, I've uh, heard of it. But I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the movie. Mm -hmm. Here there were students that made experiments. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah? I know the, the movie you're talking breathing. about. Breathing. Yeah. Yes. At first, half a minute, then one minute, two minutes, three minutes, six minutes, then later, and then they switch to, to the other world. Yes, it's it's clear, because if you lose your consciousness, if uh, if if you have no oxygen, yes, uh, then um, then step by step you will die. Yes. So they say, <coughs> and uh, you get deeper and deeper, and so. Um, I developed some breathing techniques, yes, so uh, to go deeper and deeper and, uh, and, and it worked, yes, and I, I can always come back again by myself, mm, yes. Interesting. And, mm -hmm. and then I found out, okay, because our, now um, in the neuroscience, uh, there are many, many experiments. <laughs> Yes, that uh, your brain is connected with your heart and your soul. And I wanted to make, uh, I never was spiritual, I thought at this time. Yes, but spirit, in spirit, there's the word spirit. In spirituality, there is the word spirit. Yeah? And the spirit is the whole subconsciousness in you. This is the God power in you. Yes, these are the feelings and uh, and I wanted to, to make this subconsciousness, I want to make it available for everybody. Mm -hmm. And so, I made a, so I made, mm -hmm. let, me, uh, let me catch that real quick, because you said you developed these breathing techniques to kind of go on the other side and come back, right? Um, exactly. Can you, give us, can you give us a sample or an example of an experience like that like what was that like for you what did you see or what do you usually see is it something that's is there something recurrent that happens when you go when you have these experiences mm -hmm. yes at first i could not manage it yes at first i could not manage it um but when i trained it yes uh, uh at first uh I always made four minutes in uh, four seconds inhale, yes, then sixteen uh, seconds to stop, yes. And maybe and, maybe I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily share the technique. Maybe somebody wants to try it out, but without the proper guidance, maybe they they don't come back, right? So, I just want I, I was just curious, like once you're there yes. on the other side, what's kind of the experience? Mm -hmm. um, so. Um, Step by step in 2004, then there were also um, these books from Donald Walsh or what else, uh, uh, yeah. Talking to God. Yes. Yeah, yeah I read them. Yeah. Yes. And, um, and uh, so he had contact with his God, in, with his inner God or with his subconsciousness. But I could, he could not see his God. Yes, he could only hear it. Yes, because mm. he complained. And at this time, there was already the theory of quantum physics. Yes, that uh, and the quantum physics, this is the light, then you can give them a shape. 
Yes, and this nobody believed. Yes, uh, when when I made it, because I saw my God, or I saw like chin in the lamp. Yes, in the movie, like the secret, and um, I could contact this chin in the lamp in my dreams. Yes, because <clears throat> he disappeared in my dreams, and then I asked him. Okay, what can I learn from you? Yes, it's crazy. Yes, uh, because I was aware in my dreams. These are this is called lucid dreamings. Yes, and in right. lucid dreams, um, there's a combination of the reality and of the dream world. Yes, if uh, uh, so, I asked him. Oh, okay, how can I enter to these two worlds and I, how to become aware? Yes, and. Then uh, this chin in the lamp, he explained me everything yeah, because he is living in my subconsciousness. For other people, he is living in another universe. Yes. So he explained it to me because he told me, yes, <laughs> I'm only a small human being at first. Yes. Then on the, um, on the countries, yeah, in different countries, they have different languages. For example, English or in Germany, we have German. So he told me that you understand everything. At first, you have to learn my language. Yes, this was then the mm -hmm. reason why I developed the hyperspace language with him. Yes, uh, this is our own language of the ghost in the lamp uh, of the subconsciousness. And it combines then these different worlds as yes, the world of uh, creativity, uh, the world of uh, of no beliefs, the world of no limits, yes, and uh, and here I developed then this language together with him, and then I asked him, oh, okay, <clears throat> if I can do this, what advantage do I have? What's the value? Right. Yes, and then he explained to me. Um, it's a kind of a super intelligence, yes, because you can imagine if you have uh, possibilities of the future and if you can foresee it, uh, the, the possible reality, then you can create it. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and it was so crazy at this time for me at first when I went out with, as a keynote speaker in 2004, 2005. Many, many people thought that I'm one of the leaders of Scientology or what else. Yes, because I made also a lot of experiments with brain machines, with they, waves. They thought you were a Scientology exactly. leader. Yes. Are you? Um, no, no, I never, <laughs> uh, uh, I never cooperated uh, with so, Scientology. Or I'm with, playing. Uh, I'm just yeah. playing. But um, this, this hyperspace language, right? Is it an actual verbal language or is it like a frequency? No, basically, it's um, uh, it's like a kind of a special symbolic language yes, with a special mm -hmm. technique. Uh, for example, um, because the ghost is in the other world. Yes. Right. And for example, if you want to know Oh, okay, because here is the real freedom Cong uh, the real freedom podcast. Yes, it's funny because I developed uh, uh, the International Freedom Congress, in which we that. help the people to become emotionally and financially free. Yeah, there are more than four hundred experts who are talking about awesome. how they become millionaires and so. Yes, and uh, perfect fit with and what we're doing. Here. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Um, um, because um, of the pyramid. Yes, it's important uh, to develop. As so, for your question, what does that mean? Like uh, a, a hmm? symbolic, like a symbolic language? Hmm? You said. What does that mean? Like written hmm? symbolic language, or? Oh, um, one can say. At first, if you, for example, if you ask. Um, um, how become uh, uh, how can I optimize my financial cash flow, for example? Right. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Then the ghost in the lamp, this chin or this um, this leader or this guide, yes, 
he knows everything. Yes, right. like in mm -hmm. a Google, in the Google world. He knows yeah. everything. Then he gives you at first a picture. Yes. For example, he gives the, you the picture of a cow. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you are, but this cow is not a cow. Right. Because it's from the fourth dimensional reality. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because the fourth dimension includes also the time and the space. So there are unlimited possibilities. Right. So this cow is from the fourth dimension. This cow is not a cow. That's the reason. Uh, uh, because then you are astonished. Because if you think our limited mind immediately thinks, ah, okay, uh, should I buy cows or should I buy a ranch or what else? Or should yeah, I yeah, deal yeah. with meat or what else? Exactly. Yes? Yeah. yeah? Um, but this is a, 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 like a symbolic from, because it's uh, like a symbol because it's from the fourth dimension. Right. That's the reason. It's the, then uh, you have to ask the guide, okay, hmm, what's the focus? Because he knows all the different yeah possibilities yeah and then because he's uh, be, uh, and you are connected with your subconsciousness yes with your waves yes you are totally connected so this chin exactly knows uh, okay what is the right focus for you mm -hmm. and then perhaps uh, the focus will fall on the head or on the nose of the cow yes then you are astonished again. What shall I do with with this? Yes, because you don't yeah. understand it. Because up to now you don't know the hyperspace language. It's like okay, yeah. I don't need to buy the cow. I just need to buy the nose or the head of the cow. Exactly. Right. Because you only must know uh, the step by step uh, mm -hmm. talk. So yes? let's say let's say yeah, you, let's say you do get that guidance right from. Um, uh you know that that component that connection of yours to the infinite let's say because you know mm -hmm. like you mentioned for a lot of people it's a, a version of god let's say right or your higher self or that jinn right the genie in the in the lamb it can take whatever shape is relevant for you so let's say you do get that guidance of a cow then the focus is on the nose right what's the next step to actually having the physical mind make sense of it right because mm -hmm. like we're, we're doing that all the time like what we remember from our dreams is this um, condensed symbolic version of a multi-dimensional experience you have when you're dreaming right and the, the physical mind tries to translate it into something physical that is not you know nearly like doesn't look anything uh, like what you actually experienced right what are the the next steps towards translating it into something practical that actually makes sense exactly exactly because uh, at first it's with this symbolic thing and then um if uh, if you are asking ah, okay with the nose for example of the cow then he uh, then this guy will ask you ah, okay yes um that you will enter you will you will make a new experience and a new space will open yes from at first it was a, a fourth dimensional sign and then we reduce right. it to the third dimensional yes to our world yeah and um and then we are in this experience world and then we are seeing um uh, what we have to do yes um at first it was a symbolic from the just to make this more concrete, like, can you share like an actual literal experience that you've had? Maybe it wasn't a cow, but maybe mm. it was something else that you personally saw and then how it guided you towards that mm -hmm. thing making sense? Exactly. Um, so with this hyperspace language, yes, with this step by step, uh, uh, you learn to decide what is from your mind or from your ego and what is right. real intuition. Yes, what is, what is really strange yes and that's important yes that you will follow these steps because otherwise you can create it with your limited belief with your limited mind yes but if you uh if you follow these steps bec uh, because the guide the chin in the lamp he should give you 
the possibilities. Yes, because he is in another world. That's the reason why he made the proposal. Yes, and for example, if you see then, uh, uh, if you made then the experience, for example, um, with a new space that opens uh, from the cow's nose, for example, uh, and then you see, for example, uh, okay, you should invest in this and this area. Yes, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm, you're in mm -hmm. a new third dimensional reality then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, because it was reduced. And um, but this is still the first step of the hyperspace right. language. Only, only that uh, you learn uh, what's different of the hyperspace language. Yeah. With all the unlimited possibilities, and then with your limited mind, and then I know. Uh, okay, because you get more and more aware. Yes, yeah. uh, and. Uh, to connect with the guide in the lamp, we uh, in, in total there are 13 elements that I combined: water, earth, fire, yes, the spirit, cool. uh, then the breathing, and uh, and then the people learn step by step, like in the movie Inception, yes, to go deeper and deeper, yes, uh, the alpha mm -hmm. condition. Yep. But then the people have to learn step by step to combine everything in the brain. Yes, yep. and the brain is a neuronal network, and it's also and also our heart is a neuronal right. network. Yes, yep. and here you learn uh, different combinations. Mm -hmm. Yes, for example, mm -hmm. it's quite easy if I if I ask you, okay, um, yes, how can you um, how can you optimize your financial cash flow, for example? If I ask this, then the, the normal people, then ah, the brain, the, only the brain is answering. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but with these uh, stupid questions, one can say the mind will say the stupid questions if there's a cow or what else. Yes. Right, right, right. Uh, because then it combines the left and the right part of the brain and also the subconsciousness. Yes. Here you combine the, the, the things that you are knowing already and then with strange things. This is also like innovations will be created always. So what, so how I understand it, right? So far, um, usually when I work with my, my clients, we don't just focus on the, the strategic sides of things. Um, sometimes I have my clients connect with dead relatives, like one of my clients, uh, had some healing to do with, uh, you know, from her father, you know, really some limiting beliefs. And generally what I notice when I have my clients connect with spirits or spirit or consciousness, the first question, the first answer to the question is very vague general, not very useful. But then I, I have them ask spirit, okay, can you be a bit more specific about what this actually means? And then that information gets kind of condensed in a way or densified in a way so that the physical mind can do something practical with it. That's what I'm understanding from your, your system. Like the more questions you ask exactly. and allow yourself to be guided, the more it kind of traverses from one you know, multi-dimensional representation to a more like three-dimensional translation, rough translation of it, right? Well, yes, well, the, the spiritual world will say, because I'm quite rational, yes, because I studied statistic and everything also. Right, right, so right. I want, uh, I want really to measure everything, yes, and to find it out. Uh, um, so now it's the same little like in, uh, uh, in the open AI industry, yes, in the artificial intelligence, yes, I was thinking like that, the yeah, prompts. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah the exactly. Same model. Exactly. It's, you know, it's the same model. As, as better, you know, the prompts, and as better, you have Chat GPT 4.0 or whatever else, it's better than Chat GPT 3.0. You know, yes. Are you, are you familiar with Bashar? No. Mm. I'll send you a link after this interview and uh, it's it's very very interesting because Bashar is like this alien entity channeled by uh Daryl Anka right mm -hmm. and he describes very similar to what you were saying and he actually describes AI as a kind of bridge between 
us and the higher self, right? It's kind of the higher exactly. self speaking to you in many ways, right? And it's very funny that I interviewed Mona Tenjo. She helps um, business owners with AI to, to gain their freedom back. And that's exactly what we're talking about the prompts, right? You give it, it gives you something general, but then you say, hey, can you make this exactly. more specific? And you like, and you narrow it down to something that's workable. Exactly. It's, it's, it's the same. Just say, um, because in us, they are all, when, when say the morphogenetic field, yes, or the Akasha chronic, uh, yes, it's the same. It's all the knowledge. Yeah? And it's, um, these are all the possibilities, what happened in the past, what happens now and what happens in the future. Yes, uh, this is also the theory of the, uh, of the cells and as every knowledge is in the cells. Yes, but um, I wanted really to prove it. Yes, mm -hmm. that's the mm -hmm. reason why I developed these techniques. And, and it's, it's absolutely the same in the AI. Yes, um, because if you don't know how to use the prompts, yes, uh, um, that you can change also uh, the perception of the prompts. Right. Yes, for, for example, for example, if I ask the AI, uh, please write me a sales letter uh, in the view with the view of uh, Grand Cadone, for example. Right. Yes, then it's totally different. If I, uh, it, it's another script, then if I ask the AI, uh, please write me uh, a sales letter of somebody who is not a professional salespeople. Right. Yes, and then you go deeper so and deeper. Mm -hmm. what's, what's the proof that this works? Hey, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying the episode. And I just wanted to let you know that if you're making more than six figures and you want to collapse time between where you are right now and your goals, you want to scale your business with a lot more freedom, a lot more fun, a lot more joy from this experience. And like I mentioned, do it faster. I have something that will help. Just like I did my clients. For example, Yoshwin was actually afraid to grow his $120 million a year business because he was afraid he was gonna make a mistake that would cost him millions. I quickly got him unstuck and well on his way to doubling the business. Another example, Jessica, she was making 10K a month, but she was stressed out, overwhelmed, overworked, close to burnout, and she was actually kind of hating her business. She quickly scaled to 25K a month while actually working less and having more fun in the business. And I do it through my Warrior Shaman system. If you'd like to learn more about how this system can help you achieve your goals, like I mentioned, with more freedom, fun, and um, just less grind, less hustle, there's a link below where you can learn more. Now let's get back to the episode. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We have, um, you can only at first, you can, I could only prove it empirically. Yeah, this mm -hmm. was 20 years ago. Yeah, and, and, and at first, uh, um, the rate that people failed was much higher. Yes. <clears throat> because the field was not developed. As we mm -hmm. know, also AI, I used my first AI tools already in 2015, Bogdan. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I had a, uh, um, a, a software uh, that created uh, presentations with your voice, a PowerPoint presentation. You made it in German language. It creates a PowerPoint uh, presentation. This will be done then in a video automatically, and this will be translated in 26 languages. Now, this is, this is the, what happens at the moment. <laughs> quite easy but i had it already nine years ago yes and uh, and uh, but the quality was not as good yes mm -hmm, as, mm -hmm, as, mm -hmm. as now and um, and um, all this artificial intelligence is developing so fast yes right. yeah uh, that the people uh, they really have to be aware yeah they have to learn also to spread their mind, yes, to spread their awareness, yes. Yeah. Today in the night there was Terminator 3 again. I saw this movie, yes. Well, well three days ago there was replicas with uh, Keanu Reeves, yes. 
And uh, this become more and more true because also Jan Leike, uh, one guy of OpenAI, he left the company because the AI developed too fast. Right. Yeah, they already built Terminator robots in Russia, you know, uh, on, on the back of AI. But um, to kind of circle back, what's an example of this working, right? Mm -hmm. Either for yourself or rather, let's go for yourself, right? Again, can you share an experience of you receiving this guidance just like you did with, you know, you winning the competition when you were a kid? Is there something that that happened or right? Maybe you misunderstood the message and then it made sense looking back. Just something. Yes, um, so I could at first I could not believe yes what my the guide shows me and everything. Yes. And then I made many, many crazy experiments. Yes, at first I do it with sports people in 2006. Yes, I, I had also a brain machine from brain light. Yes. And here I train people in the ultra run. Ultra run. This is one, um, one marathon after the other. Yes, seven days. And I train people uh, uh, that they forgot the pain, yes, uh, so that they don't feel pain anymore. They were really like robots. One can say like in a like a kind of hypnosis, yes. Mm -hmm. And they could run like machines eighteen hours, and they nearly they don't have to sleep during seven days, yes. And uh, they run four world records. They created four new world records and the funny thing was these people were no professionals these people were uh, they only trained one started two years ago yes mm -hmm. so not uh, so, uh, so not so far away yeah yeah and and then uh, later uh, one year later i wanted to make another experiment also in the sports industry i wanted to make the number one uh, in tennis in the world with Marcus Söcke as a, as a co-trainer and uh, with a guy who never pay, uh, uh, played tennis before. Yes, <laughs> but he had uh, the, the physical conditions. Yes, uh, one was in, in the training. Uh, uh, Marco was his name. Then he, this guy developed a body brain activity, Marco. And he was 190 high. At the, then he will run. He was a breakdance Europe European champion. So he knows how to move everything. Yes. And within two weeks, this guy could return the the service the serve of uh, of Marcus Söcke, who had already at this time 200 kilometers per hour. And then you can imagine. Uh, um, the reaction was much better and yeah. everything. Yeah? Yeah. And, uh, and then I wanted to cooperate with Red Bull at this time. Yes. Uh, I asked Mati Sheets. Yes. So I made really crazy things. For example, when I go when I want to have the right information to someone, I went in the hyperspace. It was crazy. And I asked uh, because we need some million dollars, yes, to create the number one in the world for tennis mm. in, in two years. Marcus Söcke had all the plan because of the of the points that you have to be, uh, to create, yes, as a with a wild cards, yeah, and everything. And then I asked, okay, um, who can help us with the money to, to get the sponsors and everything? Yeah. Then I. I went in a room, like in a kind of a meditation. I fall down, yes, uh, because um, uh, like a channel. And then I got the private email address of Ronald uh, of Matisitz. Yes, mm -hmm. nobody had had this email address. Yes, and then then I wrote to him, uh, and then he asked, "Where do you have my email address from?" And so, yeah. yeah? And uh, he could not believe it, yeah? and but immediately he made appointments on his fushel at the at the lake in Austria, 
with Dr. Bernd Panzold, yes, he, he was his right hand, yes, because they made the experiments with Hermann Meyer. Hermann Meyer was uh, a skiing Olympics. Uh, he won the gold medal in Olympic uh, in, in the downhill race because um, here they made also crazy experiments with Hermann Meyer. Yeah, because he had this accident before the Olympic, uh, for, the, for the Olympic Games, yeah, uh, with the car, and then he won the the the, the gold medal. Yes, yeah, so That's they crazy. were open. Yeah, and beautiful. Uh, then I saw so, it uh, in in sport. It will it's working. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, but uh, but I asked always the guy. Okay, how can I spread my perception? Yes, this was the key. This was the key because at first with this technique one, you only get strange information or information from the other world. These were only small impulses. Yes, like because you get mm -hmm. this four dimensional mm -hmm. uh, metaphor or what can yeah. say. And yeah. then if you go yeah. deeper and deeper, then, like in the movie Inception, yes, then mm -hmm. you can learn that you will get information from the other world. One can say, well, from the inner world. Uh, in my cases, I do it already now more than 20 years. I can get information of different lives, yes, because I can, if you see the movie, if you watch the movie Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio, if he's down in the other world, uh, there is no time. Yes, it's, it's, uh, and uh, this is so crazy. You know, it, it's uh, this is this is it, very very powerful, and you know it, it makes sense that like whenever you're calling you're calling something from a higher dimension into the third, of course you're gonna get like a sample of it. Like just imagine taking a sphere through a two-dimensional plane, right? At first it's a dot, then it's a circle, mm. then a smaller circle, and then a dot and disappears. So it's kind of like this, the same thing was experienced in the third dimension. Um, what would you say would be a first step for people listening in that are, you know, are resonating with everything you're sharing with the message for them to kind of amplify their, um, their abilities in this sense and become like break their own personal records in terms of their businesses, their finances, their, their mm -hmm. joy in their lives. Yeah. Um, many people knows they, they say, okay, I must listen to my heart. Yes. Then the heart is also urinal, uh, a neural network of, of new roots. Yeah. Uh, um, but I think it's much more interesting, yes, yeah. if you know also the information, yes, because some people get wrong information, yes, the, with the intuition, yes. And so I combine the mind with the intuition, yes, which is normally not possible. And then step by step, um, it's, there's no limit. <laughs> There, there, there is ne uh, nearly no limit. It's like, uh, like if we make um, the comparison with the AI, it's clear. <clears throat> if you are becoming more and more a specialist in the AI and ask the questions and know how to do and get deeper and deeper, then you can create something new. You can create um, your AI agent, yes, uh, uh, which is which can become the best of the best. Yes, and uh, here it, it's nearly the same, uh, and it's um, it's like an open AI. One can say we can use with these uh, um, with these possibilities of the subconsciousness because everything is inside, but we mm -hmm. must learn to enter to ask the right questions and really to um, to translate the answers of the possibilities yes yeah it's um, and um, and then don't misunderstand it so you must exercise it 
Yes, and and the the, the crazy things are, and this is, uh, if the people, this was then one can say a breaker. Yes, uh, this was uh, made it very successful it, with the technique too. If the people made the experiments of time traveling, you can imagine this is crazy. Yes, because many people know if you um, if you go back in one of your possible pasts. Yes, uh, this is a technique that's already existing a long time. Family uh, positioning, or why are you this guy like you are now? Yes, right. um, this already exists many many years. But if you can travel in a possible future of yours, mm -hmm. yes, this is this typical vision then target with the. Uh, uh, like in John Azarev's um, mind, um, if you're moving, um, how is it called? Uh, like a flip chart, yes, uh, with all the pictures. Uh, um, a vision board, it's called a vision board, <laughs> yes. This is quite easy, but if you can imagine, if you really see in a dream, for example, if you see that you are in three years, this guy and you can ask especially okay yeah. please show me my future eye yes in uh, yeah and this 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 is something that you know i i usually i regularly do i connect with my future self and ask for guidance and usually exactly. either through written uh form and i got this like i got in touch with this for the first time from Bert Goldman. He's the guy who uh, did this technique to, you know him? No. He used this, he connected with the future self that was a successful photographer. Mm -hmm. And he, his future self, and sometimes it doesn't make sense, right? With the guidance that you get. So go to the river and take photos and like be the tripod or something like that, you know? Exactly. And he took like photos like all over and he didn't understand what, what he was doing. But then when he laid them on the bed, it was like this panoramic photo. And this is like, you know, 20, 30 years back or something like that. He created a new art style. He learned mm -hmm. how to become a successful pianist, same way by connecting with his future self, same with business, same with finances. Like there's a version of you who is extremely successful in any field you're looking to to become um successful in and yeah connecting with that version of you i think it's like it's very easy for anyone to do but i think getting a bit of guidance like you said like around asking the right questions will amplify that experience massively yeah and uh, um for example um if the people goes, for example, in the optimum future I, yeah, of, of himself, yes, um, they get a they get a tool to measure the quality of the session, yes, how far they are why the how far they are away from the possible from from the best version of themselves, yes, because with the hyperspace language we could answer it, yes, yeah, uh, so that you. Um, um, you can't betray, one can say. Yes, you mm. can't betray yourself. And here I developed on special techniques really to enter like in, I, I don't know the word, um, it's like a mama mumie, it's called in, uh, in, in, in Germany. Uh, it's like a, like an old uh, Egypt pharaoh. Yes, who was, mummy. <laughs> yes, yeah. a mum. Yeah. And, uh, the people learn that uh, to reactivate the mummy in them, one can say, yes, to give them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, they, that they can see everything, that they can feel everything, they can learn everything. Uh, you, you will be connected to, to your future, eh? yes, as deeper you are. And uh, as deeper you are, the more you can manage, as longer you can be this person or this uh, Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. the, the best uh, version of yourself yes and um, and and that, that i told you nobody believed it for at the beginning then i wrote a science fiction book 
Well, yes, honestly, I... you know, uh, in, in all certainty, in, in all honesty, Armin, like when we met the first time, because you like there was this avalanche of information that was all coming at me at the same time. I was like, is he crazy or like what is happening here? Right. But I'm happy. I'm very, very happy that we had this sit down this uh, this session because it, it's in line with a lot of the things that are coming, like life is showing me to be to be true. And I think it's not an accident that we're, we've connected. Um, and honestly, all of the stuff that I was, I've been talking about in, in our conversation right now, all of it seemed insane to me. Like it's, it's mm -hmm. not possible. But the more you learn, the more it's, you realize that this physical stuff is actually the thing that it's not real. Exactly. It's only a small part. Yeah. It's only a small part. And if you, if you can uh, spread your awareness, yes, that you can also receive other frequencies and, uh, um, uh, then you can make more and more experiences. Yes. And, and then you can create the most important thing is that you use it to create it yes i i use it then to create my contents as uh, also my logos uh, uh, <clears throat> or yeah. um, uh, because then one after the other came yes then i get contact to hollywood to roland emmerich yeah because of the book and so then uh, because nobody believed in it at first yes so i must become visible i must i also um, trained with my brain how can i go to hollywood yes then i connected with bni at this time uh, it took me then three years to have the context to hollywood uh, then because i right. made a lot of i, I wrote many things uh, then linkedin asked me armin you are so crazy uh, can you help us to enter to the German speaking countries? You have always crazy ideas. Then I thought, okay, in, this was in 2010. Then I told to Konstantin, he was one of the five founders of LinkedIn. Let's make an interview like we are doing here now. Yes. I told them because it's always <coughs> visibility, credibility, profitability. Yes. This right. is a, a rule. Yes. And so I told him, okay, let's give a present. To the people who are watching our interview this was in 2010 we gave everybody who watched the interview we gave them um, uh, entrance to linkedin for one year the premium version for 600 euros for free so you can imagine this went viral <laughs> in germany the people talked armin knows the linkedin founder one of the five founders of linkedin and if you watch this interview, you will get five six hundred euros. You can imagine everybody watched the video. That's so crazy. <laughs> uh, speaking of gifts, right? You said uh, I, I know you want to offer everyone listening in the brain test for free. Um, exactly. Are, is it ready in English? Um, it. I will translate it next week. Then the people right. can have it. I give you your link. Then. Um, then the people can try it. Yes. Perfect. It's, they, and they I, can... I think you're, I think you're also translating the hyperspace language in uh, in English as well. Exactly. This we will translate with in June now because there are so many inquiries uh, from uh, from good networking partners. They want to mm -hmm. learn it. They want to try it. Yes. Of course. And, Beautiful. And um... this is what I can do. Yes. I, I love it. And guys, um, just connect with Armin for now. Once I have the uh, link for the brain test, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the brain test, I'll update the link. But um, if you want to get the access to the hyperspace language as well, absolutely check the description. I'll link uh, Armin's social, uh, socials uh, or uh, his newsletter so you can stay in touch and get updates on that. Um, Armin, we only scheduled in an hour for today, but I think we should schedule in like a three hour interview for next <laughs> time to really sit down and uh, dive into this. Maybe have a few people live as well. Yes, thank you. I'm, you're always welcome, Bogdan. Yes, I will also 
uh, interviews with some good people of my network so that they become guests of your show. Yes. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to that. Um, and thanks so much for taking the time. And I'm very happy we, we did this and uh, I can't wait to do it again. Yes, thanks a lot. And if there are some questions, you can ask me. The best is at the moment is the LinkedIn profile, for example. But um, uh, then uh, can they still get the, the $600 gift? <laughs> yeah, they 20 get years the, later. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then you will get also a special link of, uh, of Bogdan then to make the brain test if you want. It's, uh, and it's funny, you learn, you learn how to create um, yeah, good feelings, really, uh, and um, to learn the chemical processes of your brain. This is important. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Guys, absolutely connect with Armin. Uh, send me some questions if you'd like me to. I'll, I'll save them for uh, the next interview we do together and uh, we'll absolutely go over them. In the meantime, thanks so much and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Yes. Thanks a lot. Bye.